Hi there, Virgo. This is Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot. I'm going to be doing your reading for August 28th through September 3rd. This is a weekly reading. Generally, my readings are love readings. We will see what comes up. Thank you to all my subscribers, um, shares, comments, and all that. Thank you for the support. This is for Virgo. I'm going to try to keep this quick. Well, there's definitely a lot of divine guidance here this week, so it looks like you're you're definitely having a lot of um, <laughs> karma, okay? There's a lot of karma this week. Um, up here we have the Emperor, then we have the Six of Cups, then we have the Seven of Wands, then we have Strength, then we have the Seven of Swords. So it looks like with the emperor that there's something that there's some controlling behavior. Something is um, there's something that is re needing um, structure, um, an organization during this week. Perhaps you're going to be working on organizing, um, bringing structure back to your life. Could have something to do with children. Um, I see that there's definitely some battles, though. There's definitely some battles going on. Um, and it's causing, you know, you're going to need to have strength and confidence. That's all there is to it. There's some battles. Um, I don't know what this is, but it looks like somebody's trying to get away with something, being sneaky. There's definitely some sneakiness, and you're not so sure what to do. It seems like you're like, you know, I'm not, I, I kind of, you, you sense that this is going on. I think you sense some sneakiness or something, and um, maybe it's even you being sneaky. I do see that there's some sneakiness going on. Um, I think that you're going to be letting go of something this week. What are you going to be letting go of? Somebody that hasn't given you any attention? Somebody that hasn't given you the time that they should? It looks like you're going to be letting go of something, somebody. Okay, maybe you're going to be cutting somebody out of your life because you're starting a new chapter. Perhaps you've grown spiritually. Um, you've grown to love yourself more. And I think that... <laughs> You just, you're ready to start new. I think that you're ready to start a new chapter in your life. Okay? I think that you're looking for stability and security. Um, and it's time to expand your horizons. And I think this week that's going to come to your to your senses. I think you're going to come to some kind of uh, thought, you know, that says, you know what? I'm going to start, I'm not going to do this anymore. I'm going to leave something, you're leaving something behind that has been causing conflict in your life. You're going because you have to bring back the structure and organization, you know? So here you are. Here you are. This is for Virgo. You're right here. And we got a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio right here. Um, and then we have Karma, which is the judgment card. So this is a wake-up call. So I'm not sure if you're involved with Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio that you're going to be letting go of. You know, I don't know. 
or somebody you know that you just can't they're not offering you the time that you've been hoping for it could be somebody with a lot of water in their chart you know and it's gonna take discipline it's gonna take grace it's gonna take willpower to get through it you know to actually walk away or leave the situation behind because it may have felt like a soulmate connection okay the thing is it may have felt like a soulmate connection but you may have a soulmate connection with somebody else okay as well because I feel like we have several soulmates in a lifetime because here you are and the soulmate connection is here all right and this was a karmic thing that you're letting go of so I'm not sure if it's a relationship or it is I do I do I think it's somebody that you were hoping you know it could be a could be a job it could be a job it could be a family member it's letting go of somebody <laughs> who was causing you um, chaos, causing you conflicts. It's letting go of somebody, you know, that has been causing you havoc. It could be, a, it could be you know, letting a child um, tough love. You know what I'm trying to say? It could be because this is, there's children up here. It could be saying, you know what, it's time for you to learn your own lessons. And, you know, because they could be several different circumstances. But I see that you've fought for it. You know, you've had your guard up. You know, you've now your defenses are up. And you just, you, you don't want it anymore. So I see that you're going to be letting it go. Because you're ready to start a new phase in your life. You're ready to build a new horizon. I mean, you're ready to build a new foundation. And broaden your horizons, is what I was going to say. To find your love. To find your soulmate. Okay, your next soulmate. This right here, the star, this is your wishes being fulfilled, okay? Um, it's also an Aquarius. It's about healing, okay? And there is hope for the future. There's hope that there's a soulmate for you. There is that. There is. There is a soulmate for you, and they are close. Right now, you need to work on healing the previous, the whatever you're letting go of, because it's definitely a time of healing this week. It's time of peace of mind. It's a time of inspiration. It's a time to bring back structure. It's a time to release conflicts, to let go of something that's holding you back from broadening your horizons, okay? Because... You're about, you are, this is karmic, and you're about to have a wake-up call. You are so, so, so close to your next soulmate, okay? You are. This is so close. The world is right next to it. This is wanting that next phase of your life and doing something about it, okay? Doing something about it. Um, yeah, let's get a few more. Trying to make these quick. So, so far I see this week as being about structure, discipline, courage, confidence, letting go of something. Um, something that has been causing you conflict. Somebody hasn't been giving you the time that they need to give you or that you desire. And I think that you're wanting to start something new, brand new, um, and search for your soulmate, your real soulmate, you know, your next one. Um... And I see that, you know, right now is a time of healing and that your wishes are going to be fulfilled. There is hope, okay? Continue to have hope. Happiness. Still, them damn freaking disagreements. There's disagreements, there's conflict, there's strife. You know, you're feeling like, I can't do this anymore. I can't do this anymore. I just want <coughs> happily ever after. Age of Pentacles, you have that one twice. Okay, that is broadening your horizons. Okay, it's do taking the practical approach. All right, it's also about slow and steady. Things come the slow. All right, slow and steady. I can't remember that saying. Wins the race. What is it? Yeah, I don't know. But anyway, it's about take things happen slowly, but they happen the right way when they happen slowly, you know. So that's something to consider. Things are happening slowly, but you are on the right track.
This is the Knight of Swords. Okay, this is about action. This is about moving forward without considering the consequences. All right. So this is moving. Action. Taking action. Moving forward. All right. Doing the right thing for you. Not letting anybody get in the way of your destiny. So yes, there's something that you need to let go of. I don't know if it's a job or if it's a, it's a child that needs to go out on their own or if it's a love. But somebody, I see that somebody needs to go. It's, you need to let go because they're holding you back. And you're not going to let them. You're going you're gonna to charge ahead in hopes for the, for the soulmate. In hopes for the future. In hopes of healing. Of hope, in hopes of happily ever after. Because there's been way too much conflict. Way. Okay? And it's caused you some stress. It's caused you a time to go within and feel almost hopeless. But there is hope. So bring that hope back. Because... happily ever after with your soulmate is close very 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 close so this week is about healing and letting go now if you aren't physically with somebody it's letting go emotionally now this may or may not resonate with everybody I don't I don't expect it to um, it is what it is this is the message that I got I'm sure it will resonate with some um, thank you for watching and subscribing and the whole nine yards. Sorry, I didn't zoom that in sooner. I should have.